This demonstration will build a Web Forms or ASP.NET application that will provide a lookup page for our sales order file. This will be the ASP.NET equivalent of the WinForms demonstration done previously. Welcome to FusionWare Integration's application development demonstrations in our Nothing But .NET series. These application development demonstrations will try to show how easy it is to develop using almost any method against a multi-value database while maintaining best practices. We want to show that it shouldn't matter what sort of application you want to develop. You shouldn't have to keep finding a new way to get your data. Whether you want traditional WinForms, WebForms, or ASP.NET applications, Silverlight, or even Windows Presentation Foundation, you shouldn't have to keep redoing your work. Instead, using a pure managed provider like the MVLINKS managed provider, you can quickly and easily create a data access layer, or DAO, that does all the heavy lifting of multi-value data for you. Then it's just a matter of creating your applications using whatever presentation layer you want, or use them all. When you create your new presentation layer, no need to worry about the data at all. Focus on how it works and looks, because the data is already taken care of. Add a web services layer, hardly any code at all, and you can include even non-Microsoft presentation layers like Android, iPhone, PHP, and many more. This series will show you how to make it happen for you, and happen quickly. We will begin with the same class library project we built in the WinForms demonstration. Because we have already built our sales order data access layer in that previous demo, this one will be quite short. We need to add a new constructor with no parameters to our sales order data access layer, our DAO, to allow Visual Studio ASP.NET controls to bind to our class properly without code. No other coding will be required in our DAO. Now we will add a new ASP.NET web application to our project. We will be using VB.NET for this demonstration. Please see our CTO blog for C Sharp code that does the same thing. One of the biggest benefits of the MVLINKS managed provider is its ability to work with any and all data aware controls provided by Microsoft or any third party company. For this demonstration, we will be using a grid from Infragistics. This will allow us to use only two lines of code instead of more than 20 and give us many more features. Just as with our WinForms demonstration, we first must add a reference to our DAO. Because we are using a consistent data access layer, much of what we do in hooking up the data to our controls is the same no matter the user interface. If you have seen our WebForms demo, this part will look very familiar. To allow us to line everything up nicely in HTML, we're going to use an HTML table. Because the DAO does all the heavy lifting, we can focus here on what is important, the presentation. No need to worry about all the little data details, as they are already complete and tested. We make sure things look nice, you know, with all the necessary shooting flames and spinning icons, the important stuff. Next, we will add a text box for our query, then a button to allow us to execute the query. The code behind the button is the only code we are going to need to write, and will be only two lines long. We are using just standard HTML and ASP.NET controls, came with Microsoft Visual Studio. Infragistics web controls provide many different controls for ASP.NET that will literally save hours of coding and debugging. Today we only need the Ultra Web Grid. It even understands hierarchical data and can display it properly. The first thing we will do with the grid is add a data source. We can use the quick design form for everything we need done with the grid. Defining the data source here will automatically create the object data source that will reference our DAO. You can see that our DAO automatically appears because we have referenced it in our project. Once referenced, the object data source can see our select methods we created in the WinForms demo. This time, we will once again use the select method that allows a TCL select clause. Because I'm not too much of a multi-value programmer, but instead a Windows programmer, I made a teensy boo-boo here. Our CTO was wondering if anybody can spot what I did wrong here. Tweet your answer to at FusionWareInt to show the world your multi-value guru-ness. Now, on to the flames and spinning icons. Well, 
at least tweaking the appearance of the grid. From this screen, we can set up the grid behavior, things like making sure it's read-only in the squares we want, making columns appear or disappear, things like that. The grid even provides built-in themes, like an Office 2010 theme or a Visual Studio theme. There are more than a dozen of them you can select from with a single click. One of the major code advantages of the Infragistix web grid is paging. With the Microsoft grid, you have to write your own paging code if you only want a certain number of items to show at once. Each time the next page hyperlink is clicked, you would have to fetch the needed records and provide them to the grid. The Infragistix paging requires exactly zero lines of code, one click, and just handles everything automatically. Nice. Now we have to write all our lines of code, all two of them. The first line of code will set the one parameter in the object data source to our TCL select statement. The second and last line will tell the web grid to refresh its data. The Ultra web grid and the object data source do all the rest of the work. From calling the select method in our DAL to figuring out the paging and display of all the data, the controls, the DAL, and the MVLINKS managed provider take care of all the rest. This ASP.NET demonstration is the second in a series of demos featuring development with the MVLINKS managed provider. Look in the not too distant future for Silverlight and WPF, among others. With the MVLINKS managed provider, the presentation layer is up to you. It doesn't matter what you use. Now it's time to execute our wonderful new web application. We have to wait for our Visual Studio environment to build the application, then launch a development web server. Once the page is up, we can begin testing. Debugging is easy. We can even put breakpoints in our ASP.NET code, including in the DAO, to see what is happening. Now to show off the hierarchical web grid a bit, let's pull back multiple items. We use the same query we used in the Windows application, all sales orders that begin with 99. The data comes back very quickly as we are only going to display the first page of data. The rest of the data may still be coming back, but we don't need it to begin. You can see as we move around the grid, we can drill down into the multi and sub-valued data. The web grid will even let us automatically sort fields, group data, and resize columns. All the things you normally expect from a Windows application in a web application with no code required. The formula is one third-party grid, two lines of code, and five minutes of time. Piece of cake. With the MVLINKS Managed Provider, you can create dynamic web form ASP.NET applications while using recommended best practices. There is no need to give up standard methodologies of development just because your underlying database is a bit different. The data source just doesn't matter. Our MVLINKS Managed Provider is designed to work across all .NET technologies. You can build a web application with ASP.NET that uses Microsoft and third-party controls one day. The next, you can build a Windows application in C Sharp or Silverlight, or even a transformation with SQL Server integration services using the same connections, methods, and tools. Thank you.